question number two in this question also we have to draw parallel lines okay so first you are said draw a line l measurement is not given so you can take any measurement okay so draw a line l okay draw a perpendicular to l at any point on l so students what you have to do is you have to draw a perpendicular line okay perpendicular means if this is the line this is the perpendicular okay so always remember when a line is perpendicular the angle formed is 90 degree so let us draw 90 degree angle with the help of compass always remember that so let us do it so i'll draw an arc in this way a bigger arc okay this is my arc now you will take this point taking this point and you will not change the radius draw a line in draw an arc in this way then draw an arc okay so i have from this point i have drawn this bigger arc taking the same radius i have drawn this arc then here i have put my compass again i have drawn this arc okay now what you will do is taking this point draw one more arc in this way then taking this point draw one more arc in this way okay it should cut see done now we will join this point and th and this point we will join okay this is our line we have joined this point and this point i have joined and this is 90 degree okay the angle formed is 90 degree means this line is perpendicular to this line l now it is said see draw a perpendicular to l okay we have done it again it is said on this perpendicular choose a point x four centimeter away from l so you have to means from this point you have to choose a point which is four centimeter away from l away from l so we will measure four centimeter here okay see this is zero nicely you will very correctly you will have to measure c okay this is four centimeter here it here we go now taking this point draw the four centimeter arc okay so this is our 4 cm arc name this arc as you have to name it as x it is already given so this point is x okay now you have to draw parallel line so the process is exactly the same take any convenient radius it should not be too more or less okay you will draw the arc again taking the same radius and taking this point you will draw the arc yes now what you will do you will measure this arc isn't it you will measure this arc You will measure the arc now taking the same measurement from here to wherever it goes you have to draw an arc right now what you will do is see this point and this point you will join okay 
this point and this point it will join which gives our parallel line okay so this is our parallel line all these points will m this is already x which is given to us and this is o p okay all the arcs will give some name q r this is s okay this line is l and here we are said through x draw a line m parallel to m so this line will be m so this this you cannot name as m two m's cannot be there so you can give so let us make this y okay let us make this y so this is our line m this is l so we can write here m parallel to l okay in this way you will construct 